Father, we pray, speak to us one more time. Speak to our life. Speak to our families. Speak to every of our situations. May you go back from here rejoicing in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Great be seated. God bless you. Thank, thank you for coming today. I want to say thank you for coming. And I appreciate you for being here this morning. Actually, our first time, and God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are really blessed in Jesus' mighty name. And uh, our people coming back from campus, miracle, you are welcome. Uh, miracle, I miracle, you are welcome. I am we are glad to see you. You know what? I've been meet. wanting to meet you. Mm-hmm. God bless you. And I want to welcome my mommy, daughter too. Is that a daughter? Yes. Yes. I'm glad to see you too. God bless you. Sister, no, in the mighty name of Jesus. So everybody, you are welcome this morning. Can you please greet your neighbor and say, neighbor, you are welcome. It will be a wonderful Christmas for you. Say to your neighbor, it will be a wonderful Christmas for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. This morning, we will be discussing Jesus and Christmas. Jesus and Christmas. Jesus Christ at It is a song Temi sang this morning. One of the lines says Jesus was a lost boy at 12 years old. Sincerely, that, I was like hearing that for the very first time. Jesus was a lost boy at 12 years old. Let's see Luke chapter 2 verse 41 and uh, good enough my test is from that place this morning uh, so we, we, read, we read. just read together and uh, we enjoy that story together this morning Luke 2 verse 41 41 says now his parents went to Jerusalem every year at the feast of the Passover it was a consistent sacrifice it was regular and it was ordained every year they go to Jerusalem for the feast of Passover and when he was 12 years old they he went with the parents to Jerusalem after the custom or the feast. And when they have fulfilled the days, they return. They return. The child Jesus Christ tarried behind in Jerusalem. And Joseph and his mother knew not of it. That was where my daughter, that my baby girl, put a test from that Jesus was a lost boy at 12 years old. But they are supposing him to have been in the company. Went a day's journey without him. And they sought him among their kinfolk and acquaintances. Once he really and he and one Ojulu Mwo. And when they found him not, if at one Osiri, they turned back again to Jerusalem, seeking him. Si Jerusalem. And it came to pass that three days after three days, once he lay in Jometa, they found him in the temple, one reading the temple, sitting in the midst of the doctors. Le and he and one look at him, hearing them. And, and asking them questions. And all that had him were astonished at the understanding and the answers. And when they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said unto him, Son, why has that so dead with us? Behold, thy father and I have saw thee sorrowing. And he said unto them, How is it that he sought me? We see now that I must be about my father's business. That was Jesus Christ in that place. Jesus Christ parents come to Jerusalem every year for the In Jerusalem for a job. At the particular time, he came with them. When he was 12 years old, that the custom was. And when he came to that place, they normally move in caravan in in their groups. Because the desert is dangerous. Just like if you are going to come or going to 
a retreat we go in groups so they went in a group and when they were returning back after a week it was a week event it's about seven days event when they were now coming back they just assumed they just assumed the boy must be in the company. And they went a day journey. You know, they check back a day journey. And before they realized Jesus Christ was not among them. So they had to come back to Jerusalem again. They went a day. They check back another one day. Use another one day to look for him. Make it three days now. Before they now find him in the temple. And they ask him, why are you doing this? They don't know to know you are sorrowful and looking for you. And the man said, don't you know I must be about my father's business? And that's one of the parts of the story of, of Christmas. So the story of Jesus Christ is the story of Christmas. Uh, Remember that tattoo is Jesus and Christmas. Oh yeah, come on, we put The tattoo is Jesus and Christmas. Uh, so the story of Jesus Christ is the story of Christmas. Oh yeah, it on Jesus Christ. It has been told for centuries and centuries. At least for 2023 years and now. And we will still be saying this for years to come. with the Lord tarry. So the story of Christmas. Christmas is not complete without the story of Jesus Christ. It's the story of hope, the story of faith, the story of triumph of light over darkness, the story of the life of God over death and sickness. It's the story of the love of our God. The love of our Father. Over the hate and the lies of the devil. It's written in John 3.16 For God so loved the world He gave his only begotten son. So the story of Jesus Christ is the story of love of the Father to the world he has created. So the story of Christmas is not complete without the story of Jesus Christ. Either as a child, the way he was born, or how he went to Calvary, and how he perfected the work of Calvary, and how he resurrected on the third day. All this put together perfect the story of Jesus on Christmas. And that is why if you remove Jesus Christ from the story or from our song or from whatever you are doing at Christmas it becomes just an ordinary festival a mere holiday that has no sense at all. So for it to make meaning Jesus Christ must, Jesus Christ must be told and told over again. We are in the world now where Christmas is just like ordinary holiday. It's just a time to go and eat and drink. A time to travel and visit a loved one. But far, far beyond that, it's a time of to celebrate Jesus Christ, to learn about him, and to know more about him. Hopefully I will see the study in three short parts. Prosperity through service, that's the first one. Shishe Ashiori Nipa Isha Sin. Shishe Ash Shishiri Shishiri Nipa Shesin. Prosperity through service. Shishiri Nipa Shesin. Then we say take Jesus with you. Ah, Ikeji. Mimu Jesus. Wherever you are going this season, take Jesus with you. Then last day, as we pray, we see the undoing of the wicked and the ignorance. Pardon? The undoing of the wicked. How the wicked do themselves and the ignorance. The undoing of the wicked and the ignorance. The wicked and the ignorance. The the one, prosperity through service. In our in our. 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 In
true where we have read this morning our text, we are told the and parents of Joseph, um, Joseph. Joseph, Joseph and uh, Mary. Joseph was in Maria. They go to Jerusalem every year. One man lost see Jerusalem. Just as we go to church every Sunday. We are not sure man was see late just in the church. Or we celebrate Christmas at least every year. We like to share joy. So it is this thing that they celebrate. Passover every year. Oh yeah, Jory, Jory. Remember, they were living in Nazareth. So they had to travel to Jerusalem every year. The season that they don't miss. That was their own way of serving God as at that time. Just as we come to service every Sunday, me and you. As a way of serving God. Like this morning, we are here this morning. Celebrate Sunday. And and celebrating celebrate Christmas as well. And this is our own way of serving God. You can't say you are a believer. And on Sunday morning like this, Charlie on a season like this, you are at home just snoring on your bed. Because you are tired. It's a time to celebrate So that was what they were doing at that time. They went to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. Remember they were delivered from Egypt. The Lord said they must be celebrating that event every year. The feast of Passover. And it's the time it's a season they must sacrifice their lamb to God. And Mary and Joseph they went to the place with them. And this time around they took Jesus Christ with them. Jesus Christ himself the full show Passover lamb. You know it was killed around the time of season of Passover. He, he ate the Passover with his uh, with his uh, disciple, which, which we call the Lord's Supper today. Uh-huh. So he ate it before he was crucified. So this was the first time as a young man observing that in Jerusalem. So they went in that way to go and serve God. So never see yourself coming to church like this as just a mere time. It's a way to serve God. And God will be prospering them by so doing. How do I know that God was prospering them? Because they do it every year, as we have said in our, we have read in our text. That they go there every year to go and uh, serve, to go and worship God at Jerusalem. And they are doing it as a way acceptable to God every year. And God must have accepted them, be blessing them as they as receive their sacrifice for them every year. And how do I know God was blessing them? Number one, from Nazareth to Jerusalem. It's more than a day journey at least. And for them to have to go to that journey every year. To afford that journey, it means they are not poor. That is one. Okay. Number two, AKG. they were in Jerusalem for seven days. They are not living in Jerusalem. And we are not told they have relatives there. Ah, they go so which means they must be. have lodged in a place. So, so afford become. the luxury of days with, from their home. Just like, let's say, we have a camp here now. And we say, everybody, leave your house. And come and be living here for the next seven days. You know you spend money. Even if we are giving you food here, every time you want to buy biscuits, want to buy water, want to buy things for yourself, so you must give some extra money in your own pocket. So for them to stay for eight days, seven eight days, in Jerusalem, it means there must be some level of money in their pocket. So that means that there must be level of prosperity in that place. They are lodging and they are feeding for those days in that place. And they are in good health all through this period. A thought that God must have been blessing them as they come over the years. So they came to celebrate in prosperity. When spiritual services are seen and are done as ordered by God, 
tare se bo se ka se ninu emi not just as ritual ko se gege bi iru bo nikan but as a sacrifice to god gege bi iru bo si olorun god lati fi le bi ola fun olorun this week in week out an se ni ore ko ore or month in month out as the case may be si o si bo se le wo wa ye bring about prosperity in our way iyen ni se lati mu or abi ola wa se o so to prosper a je ki okan wa ki o bo ola make your soul to prosper they give you peace of mind afun wa ni ibale okan and rest of mind when you serve god correctly afun wa ni ibale okan ta ba so long da they also make your body to prosper a je ki your body to prosper a je ki ara wa na ko unu ma se se ni a ma ni ile ra to pe why my have reason to maybe you are falling sick a kan le ma le awon isan keke but once before you know it god has healed you ka to wo olorun ti wo wa so you make your body to prosper a ma mu ki ile ra ko wa for seven days they were in jerusalem for jo meje won jerusalem they were called they were sick ko si akole we mo sai son first of all finish ni gba si re ko ja pa they were going back mo to pada they are say we can't go today because mary was sick ah le lo lo ni pe they are just not doing well eh bo ya just even Jesus Christ, Christ said, "We have to wait because Jesus Christ has been having malaria." Yeah, so we just go. So they were able to trek back because their body was strong. Even when they didn't see Jesus Christ on time, they went back again, trekking down. One lock, one two beds. They tell you they have prosperity of bodies. And in their spirit too, they are blessed. So when we serve God in acceptable way, in a holy manner. The way that is created and loved by Him, or not, you fear it. So you put your loyalty to the Lord. It will bring prosperity to the way or the people that are or the or the worshiper. So when you serve God acceptably, as serve Him in a way that is that honor Him, it will not only prosper us in other area of our lives. Ah, we share, I share you. It will prosper us in our heart. I share, I share you. In our family, we prosper us. We experience prosperity on our end. Ah, my best. In Proverbs 16 verse 7. In the way we are kept, Proverbs 16 verse 7. It says, "When a man's way pleases the Lord." Oni ti oni ni oba won Olorun. He even his enemy to be at peace with you. Oh je ki awon o ta re ko gbe ala fi apelu won. So please God. See she si re ba we are consistent in serving God. See o ba be si se Olorun ni o ko ri. We come to church on Sunday. Awon kan wa won ma wa si le just in the church. And that first Sunday they will not come again. Or just him to tell you one. They will come again. Won atun para to wa. Even God is not sure the day they will come. Olorun go o mo gba so if we have is confused about them. Allah, Allah, go around one year. He will have him go around one year. Allah, Allah, go around one year. So that's so much that okay, this boy or this man or this woman asks for such a blessing. Okoni, he obiuni, he obiuni. Okay, what well, the next Sunday? Love from Sunday, love from Sunday. Love from Sunday. Next Sunday. So you just meet him by the love from from Sunday. Okay, what? I will just see if he will not come. For the next three Sunday, the angels are coming looking for him. I will just meet a one girl in one one one. They will not see him. Oh, Rini be. Ah, about Rio. I will not see him. Father. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe he's not coming again. We are going to one morning. Then he will come again. I come to one morning. And we pray God. You are not done that thing. I ask for. Ah, all who are with you. And God will say, Michael, see, he has come again today. Ah, Michael, this girl tomorrow come again. Next Sunday, go and give him. Oh, yeah, to love from. Next Sunday, they will not see him again. They will not see him again. Oh, 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 they will not see him again. Right. May that not be us in Jesus' mighty name. When a man's way please God, see on when he about war, Lord, we make his enemy to be at peace with him. I take care of what are the good things. Your way cannot please God when you are not consistent. On our way, we will learn to be consistent. God, consistency. On our own, we need to be consistent. So that when he's looking for you, to be quick, but to be on wow, he know where to find you. Ali mo bi to fe wa o si. E to Elijah. O so fe Elijah. Go to the brook of Sheret, she eh um, Sheret. O lo ko lo so do obirin Sheret. No brook brook of Sheret, that water of Sheret. Ni bi o do Sheret Fati. I we I we send the raven to go and feed you. O lo ma ran eye o si. In the morning the bear will come. A ro eye ma wa. They give him food and water. Wa gunje fun ato mi. They will come. Wa tun wa le ro eye ma wa gunje fun ato mi. They are doing like that every day. Won se lo jojumo. There was no day the best got there. Ko si ojo ti eye ewo yi to je be. I say God we are we are in the we are in the brook o. Bo o ti wa ni. But Elijah was not there to live. Elijah was always there. His blessing was not missing him. When the water dry, was still living. Nigba ti omi to gbe kokuro. On ti go so ki ya live now. Titi di wa to lo so pa kokuro. So you woman you go and stay in her house. Ma wa lo fi obirin kan to lo. And go to the woman house again. O tun de le obirin yi. And God bless the woman. Olorun to bokun. And was in that woman house. O de wa ni le obirin. He didn't leave the woman house. O tun fi be sile. It was there. O wa ni be. And God was sending blessing to the woman. Olorun was feeding him. Kun lati ba bo ara ni. So God that should be a place we are God is looking for you. We find you. If you are confused. 
If you are confused, yes, you are going for right. And your confusion is something confusing God. I'm confusing angel. That's not a good way to serve God. You must be in a place if when God is looking for you, He will find you. You must have an address where God is looking for you, He will find you. I pray we not miss God blessing the mighty name of Jesus. Psalm 67 verse 5 to 7. It was Psalm 67 verse 5 to 7. Psalm 67, 67, 67. verse 5 to 7. Yes. Let the people praise In thee, O King. God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall they add ye that increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. Jackie, I win your queen, your Jackie, I'm all around Jackie, I'm one book winning your queen, your Jackie, no, I'm only lady, kill do, kill one kill, see my calling for your need to read wolf, you do do she that you need your river sis. Nick Banon Lee Elaine. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. God shall bless us. And all the end of the earth shall fear him. Now, look at that Look at that by five. Say, let the people praise God. And they say it again, let the people praise, praise God. They say when you praise God like that, and you are consistent in your praises of God, then the earth will yield and Increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. Allah, Allah, that people praise should be consistent. Today you see praise to God. Tomorrow again, God don't hear your voice again. That is not how to serve God. God love consistency. So that when he hear that voice again, he know who is saying it without asking questions. God love consistency. When the devil went to God to go and report Job, God said, I know Job, you will not deny me. No matter what you do, you will not deny me. God, God was proud of him because Job was consistent. 2 Chronicles 26, verse 5. 2 Chronicles 26, verse 5. Second Chronicle 26, verse 5. Second Chronicle 26, verse number 5. And he sought God in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the vision of God. And as long as he sought the law, God made him to prosper. O si wa o lorun ni ojo Zechariah, eni ti o li o ye ninu iran lorun. I don't know if you see what I'm seeing in that place. As, as, long, as, see, as long as he, as long as he saw God, he was consistent. He was looking for God. He was serving God. He was running after God. He was there. He was consistently looking for God. And as long as he was doing that, God made him to prosper. So there's prosperity in service. But if service must bring about prosperity, it has to Consistent. In the next chapter, 27 verse 6. 27 verse 6. 27 verse 6. So Jotam became mighty. Be- because he prepared his ways before the Lord Be- his God. He became so mighty because he prepared his ways before the Lord Be- his God. He made his way rise. He was serving God consistently. It wasn't the day he began to start to serve God, he became mighty. Because he was consistent in it. And when God saw that he was consistent, he made so there's blessing through service. There's prosperity through service. If you serve God consistently, serve God in the place of prayer, serve God in the place of reading your Bible, serve God in the place of worshiping and fellowship with the people of God, there is no way blessing will not come your way. So there's prosperity through blessing. Number 
Jesus is still anywhere you go. This is it. Ni pe mu Jesu Christi da ni ni biki bi to ba lo la ko ko ni. Build the house. Bi Olorun ko ba ko ile no. Labor in vain that build it. I want to go on she last. Therefore God things must be done in God's way. In ko Olorun a gboro se ni ona Olorun. All things are done for God and are done in God's name must be done by faith through Jesus Christ. O gbogbo ti a ba se ni pa Olorun li ona Olorun a gboro fi igbagbo se. Hebrew 1 verse 1. Ah iwe beru o ni. It must be done by faith in Jesus Christ. Oh, I got a shiny pipe back on it. Don't just sir because we are don't just come to church because we are coming to church. Marco, what see it just to book on what see it as a sacrifice to God. Your regular sacrifice to God. Every time you come to church, see it as a regular sacrifice to God. Let it be a sacrifice by faith. There's nothing you do for God that God will not pay you back. Just like if you are working in a company, kawo to ba nsise ni ile ise kan and that company they has to come every day of the week ile ise yan wa ni pe ko ma wa ni ojo ti mo in the morning every day Monday to Friday and you are going every day of that week and every day of the month o wa nlo ni ojo ju mo ni gbogbo shi at the end you are there before eight ah ko to dagbo meji o ti wa nbe at the end of the month ni igba to si kwari e dey refuse to pay you you be happy ti won ba san wo si fun se nu adun you don't answer me you won't be happy. Why? Because you have done your part. It's the man that is not doing his own part now. But let assume you don't go every week. Even the day you go, you went by 10 a.m. You write 8 a.m. there. And on you, your guy has put camera there watching you. And on Wednesday and Thursday, you don't go at all at all. You come by Friday. And by 11 a.m you have closed. And at the end of the month, your God calculated the day you came and the time you came and you pay you one quarter of your salary. Your salary. And you say, oh God, this is my salary. And you say, oh God, this is my salary. And you say, oh God, this is my salary. And the man say, okay, is that your salary? Okay, is that your salary? Maybe there's a mistake. And you open the book. And you show you the video. And you see how you don't become you regularly. And the man say, are you saying you don't say anything? And the man say, are you saying you don't say anything? And the man say, are you saying Will you say anything again? Because you have not done your part. That's how our God is at time. So God's thing must be done in God's way. In do it according as He expected of us. So everything you do in His name, whether in His church or outside His church, He must do it by faith as unto Him. Hebrew one verse one. God who has sundry time. And in diverse manner, but in time passed unto the Father by the prophet. So in this last day, spoke to us by His Son Jesus Christ. Who he has appointed here of all things, and by whom He made all the world. So everything must be done through Jesus Christ. And must be done in faith. Romans 1 verse 70 says, the judge shall live by faith. If we are coming to service, and you see it as a way of sacrificing to God, and you expect to bless you, then you will surely receive the blessing. But make sure your service is consistent in the first place. The story was told of a man that God showed heaven. Somebody God showed heaven. And when he got to heaven, and God said, and he was shown had his record in heaven. And God said, the reason why I will not allow you to enter the kingdom of heaven. That you will go to hell. Because you are not obedient. Of my word, I should not abandon the fellowship of one another. If you always come to church and oh, serve me as, as a way of sacrificing to me, that is rubbish. Just as Mary and Joseph were sacrificed to God every year Joseph. at that Passover. And, and the woman said, Ah, God, check your team very well. Ah, I've never missed any service in any Sunday. I've never missed. Up to the time I come here, I'm always in every service. And God said, Oh, hey, Angel, check the record very well again. Ah, I'm never missed any service in any Sunday. I've never missed. Up to the time I come here, I'm always in every service. And God said, Angel, check the record very well again. Ah, I'm never missed any service in any Sunday. I've never missed. Up to the time I come here, I'm always in every service. And God said, Angel, check the record very well again. Ah, I'm never missed any service in any Sunday. I've never missed. Up to the time I come here, I'm always in every service. And God said, Angel, check the record very well again. Ah, I'm never missed any service in any Sunday. I've never missed.
light screen. And they saw and they saw the light screen. Oh, are they are no amuma wo. In the 52 weeks Sundays of the year. Ni no hours or say. This person only come two times. Oh, what ni a mage lo di jono come. In the whole year. For Sunday, bubadun. And they say, but I'm always there. Maybe they get some market record. And they check very well. What do you do? And to see that it the angel that mark record on every Sunday. Angel it to mark record. We be at the place by let's say time is eight. We be there by that eight. By eight to five, he has gone. So this person only come to church. Not that was come to church. Oh, what's he doing? But always come when they are finished marking the register. So as far as everyone is concerned. Be or no she wa. Her name was never on the register. Oh, she ni be. Of attendance in any of those Sundays. Ni nguba wa wajo simi. So he or she came. Oh, walo to. But heaven had no record of him. Oh, no one. So as far as God is concerned, be or no she. All the sacrifices he made on those Sunday. Nguba wa wajo simi. The clapping, the dancing, the offering, the morning to the morning to the offering. The face is that sometimes. Oh, so dami wa re. All the so heaven have no record of them. Oh, ni a kosi le wa. Because they told me wa go for a wa. How she join? Because the person that brought it was not in just church like that very day. If I'm not in church today now, can I come? Baba was needly just. How can I bring offering? Bo, How can I bring tithes? So I can't bring them. So everyone did not have record of our presence. Oh no, no, ni a kosi le. Because it was not the God's thing according to God's so, way. So that doesn't mean the judge shall live by faith. It takes faith to serve God. It must do things of God in God's way. So faith in Jesus is a foundation of all spiritual services. And all spiritual work with God. Without which our spiritual work and services are in vain. Like Every religious service that have no Jesus Christ in them, it's just an ordinary ceremony, ordinary routine, and they are all profitable rituals. So, like the Christmas we are doing now every year, if you don't carry Jesus with you, and you do everything you are doing by faith, you might be wasting your time. Maybe we don't waste our time in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, so we must Jesus take Christi. Jesus with you. We must sacrifice in his name. We must pray in his name. We must do whatever you are doing in his name. I one thing that God has assured us that when we do all this in, his presence shall be with us. When it was not with the parents on that journey, they became confused. They became disturbed because Jesus Christ was no longer in that place. So we must carry Jesus with us anywhere we go. And everything we do. Whatever we not glorify God, this is in don't do it. It's not the season for going and drinking and smoking. It's not the season for immorality. It's not the season for going and be eating your enemies out. What where you go to eat. Watch where you lead yourself to. It's not a time to just move around aimlessly. You must carry Jesus Christ with you. Anywhere you know Jesus Christ will not go to, don't go there at this time. Let his presence be with you. And as you believe in his choice, he said, my presence will go with you. And, and I will give you rest. Exodus 33 verse 14. When it is with you, he will give you rest in and about. So carry Jesus Christ with you at this time. Don't just go to any place anyhow. Protect yourself. Protect your life. Protect everything about you. Even when you are being looked for, let them Pardon? find you the place. Even when people are looking for you, let them find you the place where you, that God will be glorified. So it's not a season to commit sin. It's a season, it's a season, it's a season it's a to carry Jesus with you and to offer your sacrifices, sacrifices to God in a certain way. Lord, and that Lord, way you have prosperity that God designed for you. Now, lastly, the undoing of the wicked and the ignorance. The undoing of the wicked and the ignorant. Uh, I say, I be as yes, or the wicked. And when he will be, he be. I like will be a lord. I like will be a lord. I say, I will like more. I like more come. So the wicked will see this is a time to party. Ah, siko yuwari bi, ulati she ajoyo. And to have more and to commit more abominations. Then lati she a wo in continue. You will not, you will not believe it. 
This is beauty we don't go on break now. They are producing, producing all their drink very well. Because more destiny be destroyed at this time. So, and that is what the wicked are doing for themselves. Now. That is their own way of, way of celebrating Christmas. And what is it? Is it five minutes to the new year. They will now run for their beer parlor. Enter any church they see. And they will say to go and enter the new year with Jesus Christ. Jesus was so in them in the first place. They are only deceiving themselves. Uh, they are never seen by heaven. Uh, so, do not celebrate Jesus Christ in sin. It's Christmas in sin. Mm-hmm. Do not celebrate Jesus Christ in sin. It's Jesus Christ in sin. It's Christmas in sin. It's not a time to go deeper in self and in, and in, 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 in self rioting. It's not a time to go deeper in God. It's a time to go deeper in God. It's not a time to go deeper in God. It's a time to go deeper in God. It's a time to go deeper in God. Or committing more sin. It's a time now you see women doing after men. In the name of getting some little money from them, they open themselves up to sin. It's not the time to do that. But the Father, there's no time to do that for a child of God. It's those that have no understanding that do those things. And that's why many of them have destroyed their destiny. And you know this is also the time the kingdom of darkness renewed their vow. Many young boys now they renew their vow this time. And many boys will be used by boys be used by them. Be very careful who you collecting from. Someone that will not give you money is beginning on January. Now I'm going to say because Christmas now. Uh, uh, fine girl, come. Uh, fine girl, come. Happy Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas. You and your own no. I pray that we are not fall to the trap of our enemy in Jesus Christ. Oh, if you, you are a young man, someone that has never had that show five minutes in the beginning of January. Because it's Christmas time now. Uncle, happy Christmas, yo. Uncle, happy Christmas. Want to give me anything? And before you know it, that will just tell you, say, Baba, I'm not going to you. Ah, Daddy, what we are looking for? Happy, Lord, give me phone. Uncle, is what I ask from me that I might not go to give you. Give you what will destroy your life. And you go and give him what. David, you by you in the mighty name of Jesus. So the wicked are becoming more wicked. This period. And I'm saying this with all sincerity. Be very careful who you take things from. Very careful you collect things from. Be very careful where you go. Let us see where we are going. Be very careful where you go. And the ignorant too are not so different. And we attend church. One was silly Justin. And do service to God. One see on Lord. But this God, they do not know Him. They serve God with their mouth. But their heart is far from Him. That is not the mind of God. Of which not serve God like that. Because just services are unacceptable to God. There was a man in the Bible like that. In 2 Chronicles 25, verse 2. So I'm writing up now. 2 Chronicles 25, verse 2. KG. Saint Chronicle 25 verse 2. Orike Dogbo. 25 verse 2. Let's see how God put it about a man there, yeah, a king. Saint Chronicle 25 verse 2. And he did, let me see from verse 1. Amaziah was 20 and 5 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 20 and 9 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jehadan of Jerusalem. And he did that which was right. Look at that statement very well, verse 2. He did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. But not with a perfect heart. Like, something like this will be there. Fellowship time doesn't mean it. Mean it but his heart is not perfect with God. How do we know our heart is not perfect with God? Let me explain quickly to you before we pray. I think it was two days ago I was, we were having money in my family. And I was trying to explain to you I was trying to say to you something then. That sometimes you don't understand what it means to fear God. And because you don't fear God, we don't get the blessing that God asks for us. 
And one of the ways to fear God is when you are in his presence. When you are in God's presence, be, be careful how you behave. Or when you are in a church, you are not even in God's presence now, you are inside a church, be careful how you behave. Because when a place is called church, and you attach, when it is a church, it means you have attached to Jesus Christ, have you? And when you have attached to Jesus Christ, you have attached to his God, his Father. There are things you can't do. Or else you'll be coming and be wasting your time. You'll be serving God, doing what is right in God's eyes. Like now, we are here. We are all listening to God's word. We are all, we are all sang and done this morning. Those are right things. But not everybody is doing it with a perfect heart. And if your heart is not perfect with God, the blessing cannot come. I one of the way I was telling my family is that when you are in God's presence, compose yourself. Compose yourself. Take for example, as we are in church now, somebody is testing you in your WhatsApp. We are preaching. You are replying WhatsApp. Or reply WhatsApp. You know you can't do two at the same time. Oh, they should come you. You are in God. Oh, what for the you are doing what is right, but your heart is not with you. Because your heart is divided. Or you, as you are here now, I am preaching now. You are already thinking, ah, if I get to now, what will I cook? That rice now, maybe I cook base to join it. And I'm, I'm going to be back to buy tomato. Even before you get to, you have already finished the cooking in the church. As far as God is concerned, all those people, you are doing what is right because in the church. Your heart is far from God. I was telling my wife, my family, I said, all this boy that play ball here, sometimes I pity them. And my heart pity them. Because many of them are lost. And for them to recover, it will take God. Take for example, we put a gate here. We put door. Which means that we don't expect anybody to enter unless you are invited. Now, when we are not here, they play their ball. They are brought under here. Do you know that they will jump that face and come and call a ball here? One day I was here, one of them entered like that. And I pick, and they come and pick their ball. Out of my heart, I said, This boy, I don't, they are not even afraid. I want you know, she Oba, as you well. enter the church, she wole, your hand with that, o, o your wole. leg with that, Apa, and, and you cannot move again. Oh, I live with and the person that come and say, I ever be run to wallet, I say, I part it The legs and the hands. And they cannot move. And God say, it that won't happen. <laughs> they will arrest you. You are the pastor here. <laughs> As I was saying, my heart, God was telling me, they will arrest you. But uh, it did not happen physically. But some that's not happened to them. Some of them, their destiny has been withered. Some of them, their life has been withered. It cannot have corrections again. Unless God have mercy on them. Let us assume as they enter that place now, they fell, and the hand with that, or the leg with that. No, they will call me. Pastor, pray for us, Abi. I'm going to pray for them, the boy will go. But the one that happened to them is in the spirit. That will not manifest in that 10 years. When now happened in 10 years' time, they can't trace it to me. They will not be wrong. And until they come to a place where we pray for them, because it happened here. I feel so They will never have healing. Let any Jew pray for them. They will never have healing. Until they come to the source where the problem was. How did they call the source? It's a long time it happened to them. If you don't fear God, what you are doing to yourself is more than what you can cope with. So we must fear God. Be in his presence, be in his presence. If you are serving, serving with a perfect heart, your body, 
Arare. Your heart, Okonre. everything must be in Him. Kowa, in His presence. Ni what as I'm talking to you now, but she must survive. Your maybe your body is here, but your Arare one be. But your heart, before you enter the church, Koto wano religious. Maybe somebody send a, a test to you. Your concern message. And you are realizing the reply you will give. Oti wan she robo. And that was lost in your mind throughout the service time. Koto wano bo konre. And as soon as we finished, I thank God for the bye. Ah, hello, sir. You pick your phone. You are replying. Why you are here? Igbato wa ni bi. No, physically you are here. You are oh wano bi. But God knows you are not here. Allah no more go see the bi. Amaziah was serving God. Amaziah was seeing Allah. Doing what was right before God. Oh, she unto turning what you Allah. But not with a perfect heart. She gone go she go lock up. And that's where many believers miss their blessings. If it's your follow up, but you think so, you And if you want me, I am praying. I am praying. One man so far, one bad draw. I am going there at my best. I am going to do this. And God is not answering my prayers. Allah no wa dam lo. Even I want to share that she pray. No, no, what no she fair. People that even do it the way God wants. Devil see hinder them. A show. Oh, she. How much more you that is not doing well? Me lo wani watu wa sheda da. Pray God you have mercy upon us in Jesus' name. Once you are in God's presence, let's be in God's presence. God's presence. Don't lie your phone. Don't lie your friends. 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 Don't lie let us be what you are in church be the same thing outside the church you are in church you will not lie fornication you will not do inside the church it's not possible but Monday or Tuesday you have done what you want to do and by Wednesday or Sunday you are here again you are serving God but not with a perfect ass because what you are in church is not what you are outside the church when you want to serve God you must serve God in an accepted way in a way that God himself will know you are serving him. And that way, God will be glorified in our life. And the blessing and the prosperity will be in the of him. We will not miss it in the mighty name of Jesus. Your coming will not be in vain. You will not serve God in vain. Say it. I say you don't serve God in vain. Say a good amen, please. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now we have done all this because we are ignorant. That's what you are doing on the wicked and the ignorant. The wicked, they are committing their sin. They are not hiding it. But you that are not like them, don't be ignorant as well. And be sinning against God without knowing it. So if you said in Acts chapter 17 verse 13, Acts 17 verse 13, that will last for this morning. Acts 17 verse 30. And in the time of this ignorance, God has weak heart. Now God has determined to forgive it. But now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Every time of ignorance, God has forgiven. And now He commanded everyone to repent. I want you to repent this morning. In every way you know your service has come to an end. Repent and repent thoroughly. And God, we are set of service in the mighty name of Jesus. We don't labor like fools. Oh, niche, she, be okay. Because the labor of fool will redeem. The labor without having results. But the labor like wise men and women. Oh, she, she, be in a way that God be glorified. They be pay a lot of money. So much that God in return will bless us. They be pay a lot of money. And we have enough and sufficient to serve Him. I will see you on the top of the list. This Christmas, please don't do without Jesus Christ. Can we see? Man, she likes. And to do anything to God with a 
and with a, a biased mind. When your presence be in his presence. And God will prosper you. I say God will prosper you. The way that you need for healing will heal you. In every area of your life. Either in your finance or in your health. In every area of your life where you need God to touch you. He will perfect your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Can you be in your feet and say, Father, please help me in the mighty name of Jesus. Let me really serve you and not with a perfect heart. Father, have mercy upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. And I am in the church and I am busy gisting. Or I am in the church busy touching my phone. Not that I am not that I am saying. I'm trying to look for what is being said, but I'm trying to just shout with another person. Lord, Lord have mercy upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, everywhere I've not done your will. In making your presence to be sacred. Father, have mercy upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. All things I've done outside the church that will not allow me to offer an acceptable service to you. Father, have mercy upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. I was ignorant at those times. Now I'm repenting of those things. Let my service be acceptable to you. The The Bible Bible says when that man saw God, God made him to prosper. Lord, I shall shall be prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything I need to make a good Christmas. Most importantly, I need a good head. Lord, provide for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Put food on my table. Provide clothes for me to wear. Heal my body. Let me enjoy a good Christmas. Christmas time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Father, thank you for this morning. We say, Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Lord, you have opened our eyes to things we don't see before and we don't know. I pray and I ask that you please make our service to you a suitable one in the mighty name of Jesus. In any way, we have served you in the past, though we are doing what is right. But our heart is far from you. By not reverencing your presence. In any way we are guilty of this, Father, we pray. Have mercy upon us. Please have mercy upon us. We are ignorant. That's how we did those things. But it's written that the time of ignorance God has overlooked. But now he is asking everyone to repent. And to do that which is right. Lord, as we begin to do it right from this morning. And throughout the rest of our life. All the blessings we have missed, all the prosperity we have missed, all the joy we have missed, all the peace in our hearts we have missed, all the good health we have missed. Now from this morning, begin to restore them back to us. In hundredfold in the mighty name of Jesus. Heal the sick, liberate the oppressed, help us to serve you effectively, and let your name be glorified in our lives. As we go this way, please go with us. As we celebrate Christmas, we may celebrate Christmas in Jesus Christ. Amen. We will not do that unbelievers are doing. Amen. And we will not miss ourselves doing what they are doing. Amen. But Lord, wherever we find ourselves in eating and in drinking, you alone be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The food, the good air to eat it, and the joy and the blessing that we need for this season. Please bless us with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Are you blessed at all? Are you sure? Uh, blessed are the